Welcome back, everybody. Or if you guys are new here, my name is Michelle. And I'm Jose. And this is our food and travel channel. So currently we are in Hawaii. Hawaii. And what are we up to? We are up to get some Filipino food today. And where are we going to be going to? So we're going to a place that we went to the last time we were here. It's called Elena's. Mm -hmm. But the last time we were here to visit them, unfortunately, it was just takeout because of the pandemic. But yes. they've actually reopened for dine-in. Mm -hmm. And there were a few dishes that we did not get to taste last time. So we're hoping to try them out this time. Yes. And the uh, things that we're actually going to be trying sound very delicious. So we are ready to get in there and fill our bellies. Yeah, we got some recommendations from some friends about some dishes that we missed out on. So mm -hmm. we don't want FOMO. So <laughs> we're going to go check them out now. Yep. So let's get on in there. So we've actually sat down already and we've received our food, but I'm gonna go ahead and let Michelle get the names of this because I do not want to say it wrong. So we ordered a total of three items. Mm -hmm. uh, these three items we missed out the last time we were here. Yes. Uh, and we were definitely told we needed to check these out. So here we are, excited and ready to check them out. So the first thing that we got is their pork guisantes. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is, it is pork that's been cut up into small pieces. It's been cooked with uh, within like a tomato-based sauce mm -hmm. piece. And it looks delicious. Oh, delicious. And it's probably going to be really delicious over rice. Mm -hmm. ah. So yeah, we also had to, you know, it comes with steamed rice. So, you know, you can't eat some of these dishes without rice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then the next dish that we got is called their mungo and beans. And basically what it is, it's beans. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's got pork in it. And it's made into some type, it's made into like a little bit of a, like a soupy stew. And mm -hmm. it's also great over rice. Yes, and that is one of, and I say this a lot, but it is one of my favorite especially because of the way that it is over rice it just pairs very well yes and then the last and final thing that we got we're even more excited to get because last time we tried uh, two of their other omelets yeah but we definitely miss out on this one it is their lichon special yeah. omelet mm -hmm. and it's basically uh, a fried rice mm -hmm. that's um, got a nice thin slice of scrambled egg mm -hmm. kind of encasing it or like a blanket wrapped around it yeah and it's got lichon pieces cut up with like tomatoes and green onions uh, spread out and it looks and smells amazing when we opened up the container. Yeah, so if you've been watching our channel, you know that we love lichon. So this is just another way of style of eating it. So we're super excited. Yep, so let's go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and dig in. So what did you want to go ahead and do first? I think we should try the porky santis first. Sure, let's go for that one. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, the flavoring on there is very pronounced, but very needed because of the rice being bland. And then you have the flavoring of the guisantes. Oh, that is so good. So it's this tomato base sauce that they use. It's really flavorful. And with the actual pork mm -hmm. and the peas, they complement each other really well. Oh, yeah. And the pork is just so tender and beautiful. It doesn't even require for you to chew. You just kind of just press your mouth together and it disappears. So good. And I have to say, guys, the portions that they give here, they're extremely generous. And there is so much of the pork mm -hmm. uh, in the actual dish. Yes. Oh, that is good. 
Yeah, that flavoring is just perfect. It's so perfect. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's just right. Yeah, that tomato sauce, even though it's in, in tomato sauce, it's not overpowering. No, it no. It doesn't overpower the flavor, flavor of the pork. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, it's cohesive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes the tomato sauce can be bland, but it's not. It's very good. So next, cannot wait, the mungo. And when I eat my mungo, I like to drown the mungo over my rice. Yeah. And yeah. I like to eat it also with vinegar. Mm -hmm. So for her, it's just mungo with some side of rice, not rice with soda mungo. <laughs> so here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The pork in there is also oh, tender. Mm. And the flavor of like the leaves yeah. stewed. Mm -hmm. It's to the sauce or what we call like in Filipino the sabao. Mm -hmm. It's it's very it's very subtle, but the more that you chew, the more the flavor becomes pronounced. That's very good. And then for me, like I say, I add the vinegar to it. It just makes it. It just brings the, the it just elevates the flavor to a whole new level. Oh, that is so good. And again, the portions are amazing. So we're gonna have. A lot to eat. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Alright guys, it's the Lichen Special Omelette. Oh, I'm so ready. And again, Lichen, for those of you guys who don't know what it is, it's basically a pork, a crispy pork. Yeah. Ready. And I'm ready. Yeah, let's go. speechless. But let me tell you about it. <laughs> this is amazing. The From season. a texture perspective, the crunchiness of the vegetables, the lechon, the fried rice, oh my god. The fried rice, it's, it's soy sauce, but it's seasoned. It's seasoned so well, and it just goes really good with the pork. And then you mix in the tomatoes and the onions and the green onions, and then you've got the egg. It just blends so well together. Mm. Oh my. This is top notch right here. I'm telling you, I, and you guys know this by now, I am a texture person. So the different textures in here, it just elevates this to just a whole other level. Oh, that is so good. It's such a flavorful dish. Yeah. Right? And then the more you chew it, the more those flavors combine. They just come bursting out even more as you chew. Mm. <laughs> Now you would think that having lechon with you know tomato and onion may throw you off, but no, it just adds, it just adds to it. So here, obviously we were here last year and we tried two of their other omelets. We tried their adobo fried rice omelet and we tried their longanisa fried rice omelet. And so now that we're trying the lechon special omelet, I mean, I feel like life is complete. <laughs> yeah. I think they picked the perfect name for this dish. I mean, it is special. It's Very so special. Good. So, uh, what did you think about the food? I love it! Oh, all three dishes were absolutely amazing. It was so delicious. It was so good to come back here to Elena's and yeah. be able to dine in yeah. and just enjoy the food like immediately instead of like having to drive somewhere else, let the food get cold mm -hmm. and eat it. Yeah. But regardless, the things that we tried this time that we missed out last time, we're so glad oh, we had a chance to come back. They were so good. And here's the other thing about actually eating at the location 
uh, there's just such a nice vibe in there. Not only do you get like the Aloha vibe of everybody just happy to see you, but then there's also that like family kind of feel from the Filipino side of things. So it's like, like two, you know, double, double, double goodness, I guess I'm trying to say. Like all the titas are, you know, are taking your order and bringing you <laughs> yeah. the food. And yeah. then we were so lucky that we had a chance to meet Melissa, one of the owners. Yes, yes. She stopped by and, you know, greeted us. So that was really cool. Oh yeah. And everybody in there is just so unbelievably nice. And that was so welcoming. And I mean, then on top of that, the food being so great, it's like, I mean, I don't know how many stars you can give a place, but this one deserves all of them, dude. Yeah, <laughs> if you're ever here in Oahu, definitely you need yes. to come over here to Waipahu and you need to check out Elena's. Yeah, great food in a great spot. You can't go wrong with anything that they're serving on the menu. It is served, it is served with, you know, pride. It's served with, you know, mm -hmm. that Filipino spirit. Yes. And it's just amazing. Yeah, it is. So if you are, So if you're enjoying the content, please do us a favor and go down there and hit that big old red subscribe button, join the community. And then while you're down there, also hit that notification bell. It just drops you a nice little notification saying that we have dropped new content. And guys, while you're already down there, hit that yeah, like button. Yeah, hit the like button. And then also comment down below. Are you a fan of Filipino food? Have you been to Elena's before? Yes. And then Let us know. don't forget to also follow us on our Instagram, Michelle Jose Food and Travel. Yep. And yeah, as a, I guess we'll see you in the next one then. Yeah, because we got to take a nap real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a Kanak attack. Till the next one, guys. Right. Bye. Bye.